I thought oatmeal was supposed to be healthy. So why did my blood sugar act like I just ate a donut? Don't worry, I'm not canceling oatmeal, but I am testing hacks to make it blood sugar friendly. So let's see what works. Hello everyone, it's Nia and you're watching Glucose Gone Wild and today's food experiment is going to be on oatmeal. Oatmeal gets the reputation as that poster child as a healthy breakfast and I love oatmeal, especially overnight oats because it's easy. You just throw it in a mason jar, add some milk, set it in the fridge and in the morning your breakfast is ready. But something strange happened the other day. When I ate my oatmeal, my continuous glucose monitor told me that my glucose went wild and here's what happened. So I just had the biggest glucose spike I've had in a very long time and you won't believe what I ate. Look at that. My blood sugar went up to 153 milligrams per deciliter. Came back down now. Uh, it looks like the spike started at uh, 239 and will you believe what it was that I ate? I was in a hurry, so I made a jar of overnight oats with chia seeds, and it was soaking in um, a coconut almond milk blend. So obviously, oatmeal, the starch, <laughs> is what spiked my blood sugar. And here's why I'm mad about it. I'm mad about it because I could have I could have eaten a dessert, okay? Not no boring oatmeal. I could have had a whole cookie or something to get my blood sugar to spike that high. And I'm, I'm just so mad about it. But that was unexpected just because oatmeal is like considered this healthy thing, this healthy food, oatmeal. It's good for heart health. And I'm not saying it's all bad. It's not. I'm just annoyed at how much my blood sugar spiked after having oatmeal. You're shocked. I get it because I'm shocked too. I love oatmeal so much and oatmeal doesn't love me back. But I'm not willing to give up oatmeal from my diet. I had to find a way to make it work for me. So I'm going to show you how to make oatmeal blood sugar friendly. So before I eat my oats, this is a bonus. You don't have to do this part, but because I know how sensitive I am to oatmeal, I get a cup of tea and then I add some collagen peptides because I take collagen anyway, and collagen has about 10 grams of protein inside. So that's gonna give me that buffer so my body doesn't absorb the starch as quickly. All right, grab your oatmeal and toss it in a bowl. Now hit it with some protein powder and stir it real good because nobody wants protein powder clumps in their oatmeal. There are already some chia seeds in the oats, so I added flax seeds for the extra fiber along with the blueberries. And to top it off, a little flaxseed oil, which is a healthy fat that keeps your blood sugar from throwing a tantrum. Mix it all up and you have oatmeal that won't cause an insane glucose spike. All right, so my blood glucose is at a steady 98 milligrams per deciliter right now. I'm going to eat this whole bowl of dressed up oats and check back in with you in about an hour or two and see where my glucose went. This is a big old bowl of oatmeal, but it tastes better than the plain, you know, the plain boring oatmeal. So I'm not mad at it. I just finished this oatmeal and it's very filling and I'm thinking because of the protein powder. I am stuffed. So I'm here to show you the results and it looks like this is when I ate the oatmeal. That was about 5.04 p.m. and look, no spike. The highest my blood sugar went was 107 milli milligrams per deciliter and that was about 45 minutes after I ate it, and it just hung around right at the low 100 mark after that. So now I'm at 95 milligrams per deciliter, which is amazing. It's great news for the oatmeal lovers out there. You can still include oatmeal in your diet without making your glucose go wild. So here's how you do it. 
As we know, oatmeal by itself is a starch and that's gonna make your blood sugar go crazy, right? So when you add a protein, when you add a fat and fiber to your oatmeal, it's a balanced meal. So what happens is when you eat it, your body is not gonna absorb all that sugar straight away. It's gonna take time to digest and break down without causing that spike. Let me know in the comments below if you tried this to your oatmeal, dressing it up, and what options are working for you. Anyways, guys, if you're loving what you see, please like, comment, and share this channel with someone who may have diabetes and their family too. And if you really love this channel, please subscribe. I appreciate your support and I will see you next week. Take care.